Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I have to just quickly address this because I'm seeing this too many times in my thread and you know it's, it's you guys it's honest reaction and perception of the narcissist after you know they discard you and yet again another survivor said oh he's just riding off into the sunset with the next woman like their prom um, king and queen. And a lot of you guys have this perception. That's not what's going on, guys. That is not what's going on. He's riding off into the sunset with a cheater. The person he was cheating on you with. That's what they're doing. All he's doing is upgrading the person that was the side chick. And now they're with that person. Because they can't be by themselves. But this isn't some Cinderella right off into the sunset. Now, just like she's a primary source, now someone else has to fill that secondary source. Third, fourth, fifth, and how many ever they go down the chain with. But they are not riding off into this sunset, into this miraculous relationship. And if they are coexisting in any type of harmonious way, it just means that they're both two dysfunctional people. And two narcissists can bounce off of each other. As long as they're not the same kind, like a somatic um, narcissist can get with a cerebral narcissist. Yeah, that can work out. And, you know, like power couple type things, they stay together if it suits their image. But behind closed doors, all type of crazy messes going on and scandals. Children being had during a relationship breakups that you don't really that's not publicized on social media you know lots of cheating mistresses being found out like crazy stuff getting stds cured and stuff be going on we just don't see about it look at all the stuff you went through when you were with the narcissist you didn't publicize all the drama that was going on behind closed doors so, you know, stop having this perception that when they go with the next person that, you know, it's all good all of a sudden. Like now they're respectable. Now they've found true love. Number one, the narcissists are incapable of giving or receiving love. They'll never love anybody. They could coexist with other people over and over and then they trade people out as needed. As soon as the person gets hip or if the person is hip, but as soon as the person doesn't accept the way they want things to be, they just try to find somebody else that will. That's it. It's really a simple formula for them. Find somebody that will accept them for who they are because they don't plan on changing and they don't plan on dropping that false self. They, they need it. They feel like they need that false self to survive. So they're not skating off into the sunset. You feel like they're skating off into the sunset and you're left behind to pick up the pieces because you're dealing with things in a healthy manner. Most people that end a relationship do take time to, to mourn that, to get themselves together, to learn from it and reflect from it. The narcissist ain't trying to do all of that. They ain't trying to do none of that. Never. Because they're not trying to change any of their ways. They don't want to reflect on anything that might even make them remotely think about their true selves or anything that might be wrong about them. So what do they need? They need a distraction. They need another shot of supply from a new person or upgrade the other person that was probably waiting to... Um, have your spot. You know why? As I mentioned in other videos, the other supplies that are not the primary, they don't deal with the narcissist the way we do. So that love bomb phase that the narcissist is having with them, that can be dragged out for a very long time because they're dealing with those people on the surface. So those people are like giddy and happy to take your place because they've just been only love bombed probably by the narcissist. But now that they're in a primary um, position, they're going to get devalued and discarded. They're going to be seeing that full um, cycle come full circle for them. And they're going to feel a difference. But we need to drop these perceptions because I said it in another video. 
um, when we're dealing with our anger and our rage, and you can check those videos out. There's That's a three-part series that I did. Um, I was saying our perception becomes reality. We keep thinking that they're now um, met their Cinderella and whatnot, and everything is all good now and perfect. When they just literally disrespected you on the highest level, couldn't keep a commitment, show any type of loyalty or healthiness with you, that didn't dramatically change with the next person. That other person is just taking their bullshit or they're stuck in the um, honeymoon love bomb phase right now and they're under a lot of illusions that they will quickly find out is not all that it's cracked up to be. Now, like I said in other videos, it depends on how unhealthy they are, whether they will continue to stay in those cycles. And if they happen to be a narcissist, just like um, the narcissist, then, you know, if there's something um, that glues them together, they have some type of common goal that they're working towards of, then they'll take each other's dysfunction. They'll both be cheating and doing all types of things outside of the relationship, but that'll be fine because neither of them really care about that kind of loyalty in a relationship. So stop thinking that it's all gravy and that the narcissist is with the next person and everything is perfect now. No, that's what they want you to think. And then if you're only, if you're watching their social media and all you see is them putting up these happy pictures, you know, just think about your time with the narcissist. They haven't changed overnight. The only thing that could have changed is um, whatever this new primary source is into, they're chameleons. So now they're into that now. But as far as their disposition, their core values, <laughs> that is intact. That is the same. All right, guys. So I hope this video helps someone. Um, I'm going to, I have a playlist that I keep where um where I'm talking about um comment comments and responding to comments. So sometimes rather than type a response, I'll just make a little video because it's just something that I want everyone as a group to hear or I feel like it's an important of enough message to just, you know, do it through a video. Okay. So um, if this video resonates with you guys, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do upload videos quite frequently. If you are stuck in the healing process, I have written books that help people heal from toxic relationship. That information is in the description. I do coaching um, via email, telephone, and Skype. If you're interested in that, you can email coachlakia at gmail.com. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. I hope that you're, you know, learning just from the videos that I'm putting up. And um, just take care. And until next time, stay safe.